a few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to meet with the head of the IFC, uh, the financial arm of the World Bank. Uh, he is uh, from Africa, I believe, Sierra Leone, if I'm not mistaken, or Senegal, one of the, Senegal. And he was a former finance minister. And we were having a great chat, myself, himself, and Minister Clark. And he was telling us about the experience he had when he was just becoming Minister of Finance in Senegal. I believe it's Senegal. And he said he, you know, he's a simple man. He went without security. He went into one of the hotels and he sat and he ordered and he noticed that all the waiters were gathering, conferring amongst themselves as to whether or not he was the finance minister. And they were saying, no, he couldn't be the finance minister. He has no security around him. It couldn't be. So when they were carrying his order, a few of them went up to him and they asked him, are you the finance minister? And he said, yes. And then they started to tell him of all the problems <laughs> they were having and experiencing and what they would like to see. So he started to tell them, but look, we have brought down inflation. We have stabilized the exchange rate. We have reduced the debt. We are giving tax breaks. And he said, one of the waiters looked at him and said, but we can't eat that, sir. <laughs> I, was, I was floored. I was floored. Because I have had the exact same experience. Maybe not waiters coming over, but the same discussion regarding the achievements, the aspirational achievements of the country and the value to the common person. A big disconnect. Of course, we started on a philosophical discussion after that. How do we connect these important, we call them macroeconomic variables, to the urgent needs of the people? And how do we get the people of the country to understand that without correcting these macroeconomy, they sound like big things outside of our understanding. But if you don't get these things right, all the other things that you complain about, you won't get them right. And what you will end up on is a cycle of unfulfilled promises. Because populist leaders will come and tell you, yeah, we're going to fix all your problems today without any reference to the economy. And then they get disappointed. Our country, our electorate has been on that road several times, which accounts for the lack of trust that people have in politicians because we have all given in to populist politics because we refuse to believe that the laws of economics are as immutable as the laws of physics.